you love it? Yeah, I do. That's so cool. So here we are with Paige. Paige, Matthew, Matthew, Paige, YouTube. Hello, everyone's everyone with each other. <laughs> And so we're going to do something, oh, we're going to do something here tonight, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, we're going to convert you into the whole retro. Mm -hmm. And then what it says, like, let's, let's convert you into, like, retro, like, really, really retro. And then we're going to go out for a drink or something, like, we're going to go somewhere in public. And then we'll come back and make it, like, modern and cool after. Um, so, and then you went through all my stuff, and then you love this one. I mean, look at that. I mean, how can you not? How can you not? So great. So great. So what we can do is we can go into the time machine yes. over this way. You go through that door and you get changed into it and you come out and you're from a different time. Excellent. And then we'll have to give you a haircut to match it. Beautiful. Cool. So go ahead. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's all that flyaway and all that. Oh, my God. Sweet. How fun. Now we've got to do a haircut to match it. <clears throat> And then, yeah, we, you know, it's, been, it's appeared on the channel before, but we looked through all the haircut ideas, and the one that grabbed you the most, <laughs> it's been on the channel before, but you're like, yes. oh my god, I have to have that. Have and then with this wardrobe. So we got the wardrobe on, we're going to do the haircut, and then we're going to go out, because it's Friday night in Wellington, and we're going to go out, like, yeah, because you want that life adventure. Exactly. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Let's add some orange. Oh, you got some of those anyway. I've got some. Add a bit of orange. Add, add more, right? Yeah. Stack it on. Yeah. Get some clack. Click clack. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Accessorize you more. Oops. That's a tricky one. There we go. <gasps> Fun! <laughs> so we said pink one. Where do you want to go? Um, Arborist, Leroy's. I've never been to either. Cool. Well, yeah, because you're new to Wellington. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the best. I'm going to mess up your hair and take you out for your first time in Wellington. <laughs> Come back and fix it. Too funny. Cool. Come on over. Let's wash it. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we can take them off, yeah. I'll just check them out again. Yeah, leave them over there. Come on over. <gasps> Lovely curly hair, too bad we're cutting it. But it'll be back. <laughs> it'll come back. It will come back. We'll have long hair again. And we'll come back together. It'll come back to you. But we're going to end up. Short pixie, but maybe not tonight. Maybe the first haircut we give you, you'll love it and want to go to work for a week and want, you know, I'm open to it. Maybe. Because with curly hair, it actually sit okay, but I'm going to blow dry and ridiculous stuff and <laughs> kick you out. But you shake it and go. You'll be like, because that's happened before. So we're like, actually, you know what? I like this. Let me keep it for a bit. Because you'll never have another chance with it. Or, you know, it's not like you're going to have again. And sometimes you get to mess around with people you work with. This day and age, you can do what you want. So let me see that picture. So we're matching it? Absolutely? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. we're gonna match it? Let's do it. Cool. I missed my fringe. Mm hmm Well, now we're going to cut it from the fringe everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like all fringe all the way around.
When did you start cutting hair? Fifteen. High school kid. But my grandmother's had a salon and kind of influenced by that a wee bit. Something I always wanted to do. I would have wanted, I would have like really pursued it sooner, but I didn't get too much support out of my family. Um, they were kind of dry on a different story there. Mm. But uh, eventually when I you know, 24 years old and I started to take it more seriously. And then Sunil over there was the one who um, took me under his wing and taught me how to do it properly. for a long time and then Halifax Nova Scotia for quite a while and then I went back to Toronto and then I moved to New Zealand so it's cool to have been able to work in different markets as well because they're also vastly different and I love Wellington New Zealand and I love Halifax I could, I could have just stayed in Halifax too and done here and there forever but I came here and I'll do here do it here forever. It's a pretty special place here. It is. And a lot of people watching this channel will never come here or will never understand it. You really have to see it to get it. It's a special place in the world. And really cool people. You know, people like you want to do stuff like this and go out. <laughs> Now this is a fun haircut to do and it's also a fun haircut to get because everything's being cut forward. So you're seeing all this stuff. How well can you see without your glasses? Um, I can see okay. It's, yeah. like, it's like blurry but not, yeah. not, it's just out of focus I guess. Yeah, that's it. But you can see I some can of it. I still see, yeah. Yeah. So it's that sensation of everything pushed forward and cut off. Which is a haircut you'll probably never get in your life. It's so rare. Um, but imagine like 1980 and you had long hair and then someone brought you to the mall getting this, all this stuff coming off around you, because that's what used to happen. Because right, this haircut started in 1976, and it was popular through the probably mid 80s. So people look back in their lifetime like, yeah, I used to have that. Mom made me get that, or I wanted that. I'm pretty sure my Nana gave this haircut to her youngest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you look through family uh, photo albums, you'll find this haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in there, this haircut will appear. But even better when you recreate them today. I mean, I wouldn't rule out people doing this again. Yeah. Maybe you'll keep it. I'm on team keep, even just a week. And then like, you know, FaceTime your mom and stuff and I follow like, yeah, no, I love this haircut. She's like, what are you doing? I love it. I do love to mess with people. Yeah, me too. It's especially funny because I work in government. Oh, dude, haircuts like this when you work for government are the best. Because <laughs> it makes the guys you work with feel awkward. They, they'll end up like, I'll need this by Friday. <laughs> and they'll go away from me. Because then you just, in their brain, you become an HR nightmare, right? Like, don't say anything, like, uh, don't say anything to the girl with that haircut. Oh, also, there's the other joke with this haircut. It's the um, Target Lady haircut on Saturday Live. <laughs> yeah. No, it makes guys feel awkward. Girls don't care. Girls are girls, right? But guys are like, especially like when you're your age and you're pretty and you do something like this to the hair, they don't get it. And they just, you know, become social awkward because they don't want to be uh, HR. <laughs> oh, 
oh, it's like, but the joke I always make is like someone makes a stupid comment, it's like, oh, you're gonna old fortune the HR jar. It's so interesting though, because like, what will it look like with my net from here? Yeah, with the curls? It's a mystery. I think it's actually gonna be fine. I think when you do the curls and shake it and push it back, it'll actually gonna look fine. But we're gonna make it ridiculous to start with the blow dry. But then when I wash it and you shake it and go, you're probably gonna be like, you know what, I'm cool with this, I'm gonna keep it. I think you will. And then we'll have you back down the road for another video if you're cool to keep it. We'll see. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Or if you want it, like, ah, oh, it's fun, but I can't keep, I, I can't go, I can't go out like this. I almost like, <clears throat> I did tell some of my colleagues that I was doing this, so I think it would, it would be like, definitely funny if I maybe kept it. Yeah. And then go to work with it like properly blow dried like how I'm gonna do tonight, <laughs> and act like you're like yeah, new haircut. <laughs> act like it's normal. Uh, I've done that with my beard before, but not lately. But when I lived in Toronto, I'd shave, like keep like the Amish looking thing, and then people would come home. This is when I lived with a couple of flatmates in Toronto, and I'm acting like it's normal. They come to the door like oh, <laughs> I'm like what. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? You got a problem with it? <laughs> it looked it looked bizarre on me. But yeah, I'm not an Amish dude. Did the Amish beard. Or the handlebar, you leave the handlebar. You don't leave it. I did that not long ago. In here. And then I did a little quick video sent to my brother because I'm like, oh it's Lemmy Day. <laughs> you know like Lemmy from Motorhead. He was the king. With a handlebar. <laughs> he was actually really cool. Kind of reminds me of <clears throat> when I was like growing up my shaved head and I was walking home from town in Auckland with a friend and this taxi driver goes, my friend, do you and Justin Bieber want to ride? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Yeah. Yeah, you get a little bit shocked when you hear things like that. But I remember in high school, I had long hair. Like, I could pull my fringe out here as long. And my high school girlfriend had short hair. She had the cool short hair. Of course, I was cutting her hair. She had the short, cool short haircuts. But I remember, like, um, someone uh, yelling, like, uh, she dropped me off somewhere. And someone didn't like the way she was driving. And say, why don't you tell your buddy to wash the drive? Because <laughs> I saw this driver with short hair. <laughs> why don't you tell your buddy to watch out with the driving? I'm like, uh, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girlfriend. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I, I, but that's what I liked about it in high school. I had super long hair, and then she had super, super cool short haircuts, so we're like, kind of like gender bending in 1990. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Kind of stood up. But by the time, because I grew my hair, because I think I had some, a couple bad haircuts, and I was like, put off. 
and I just grew along because I was like I was angry at the, I was also angry at everybody at that age. Um, and then so then yeah, she had cool short hair because I had long hair. And then grunge came along in '91. My hair was already long because in the late '80s, guys didn't really have long hair. It was rare unless you were like a rocker, like into classic rock. Mm -hmm. But I was I had long hair, but I wasn't uh, into classic rock or things like that. It, so it was really unusual. And then when grunge came along, everybody wanted to grow their hair, and they were like. Oh, how come it? How come you grew it so fast? How did you grow it so fast? I'm like, it didn't grow fast. I was already doing it before grunge was a thing. And then grunge just happened to come along. It was like I was way ahead of everybody. And then I ended up because in grunge era, so I had the long hair, and then she had the cool short haircuts. But that's like, um, what's her name? The actress. Um, oh, like at memory blocks. You know, she was in Stranger Things and whatnot. Oh, uh, Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder. So it's like my girlfriend was doing like Winona Ryder type haircuts and then I had the long hair. Um, so it was kind of, you know, we were really fitting at the time. Oh, the other one she did, she took a picture of the, she wanted a haircut like Wilson Phillips hold on video. Or Winona Ryder type. Well, she wasn't blonde hair, she was dark hair. She liked Wilson Phillips haircut. She liked the Melrose Place haircut, Jane from Melrose Place. And she liked some um, Winona Ryder type thing. It's like Winona Ryder without reality bites. She's like, oh my god. Or Demi Moore from Ghost. Like she, those are all the haircuts she wanted at the time. I'm ready to start singing with the sound of music or something. Sure. <laughs> what are we going to use? Moose. Hair spray. Okay, why do I look good though? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. They backfire. You're like, let's do the worst one ever. Then you're like, why do I like this? I'm not supposed to like this. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to backfire and you're going to end up keeping it. But you can even see curly, like how your curls are pumping in. Mm. It's even fine with curly hair. But we're not going to do curls when we go out tonight. We're going to do mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> like the biggest mushroom and we're gonna go to town and we're like excuse me can you use that? do you know where I can find some shrooms <laughs> just mess with people well if you if you uh <laughs> if you figure out where to find some shrooms just let them know that the mushroom the mushroom head wants some shrooms <laughs> <laughs> just like go up to people. We'll go to like a club. Do you know where I can find some shrooms? You get all like intense off. Do you know where I can find some shrooms? <laughs> just tell just tell your dealer the mushroom princess is looking for shrooms. <laughs> just tell yourself the mushroom princess.
feel like a mushroom. Well, you are a mushroom. Let's go out and find some shrooms. <laughs> That'd be the challenge of the night. Even though, no, we're not really going to do that. They could say we're not doing drugs. But it'd be funny, like, to go to a club and, like, can you tell me where I can find some shrooms? And you got to do, like, a screechy broken accent. <laughs> Looking for some shrooms. <laughs> you know where I can find some shrooms? Well, I know you know someone. I know you know, or you know someone who knows someone. But you just let them know the Princess Bushroom is looking for some shrooms. You just let them know. It's, it's, very, it's so easy to find me. I'm not hard to find. Just look for the hair. That'd be the funniest thing to do tonight. Me and the shrooms, we belong together. Me and the shrooms, we belong. Look, I'm like one with the shrooms. I love it with your glasses though. They work quite well with it, eh? It does. You chose the glasses and the glasses chose the haircut. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alrighty then. <laughs> and here you go, madam. Oh, that came up a little. Oh! Beautiful. Okay, we're going to town. Right. You ready to go, go to town? Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we did it. We got out to a bar. Look at all the patrons. And I think I caught one person looking at you so far. I bought a, a kid do a double take. Did you? Yeah, it was like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people trying to figure it out. And the more I'm hanging out, the more I'm like, I actually really like it. I think we were talking about Kristen Wiig and the uh, Target Girl and then the Cat Lakes and yeah, we were, um, yeah. And yeah, we're having fun with this. It might be a keeper. We'll see. All right, all right. Look at this. Okay, is it real or wig? Real, I Yeah? Real. Real, real? Real, it's real. 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 Yeah. Oh, I love the 80s kind of vibe. Oh my god, it's just super. Like, take, a, take a step back and be a the whole The whole wardrobe, the whole entire. Oh, I was going to say, where did you get your dress? So great. Don't you love your new hair? I love my new hair. Yeah, it's so hot. It's very 19, it's actually very 1920s. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah.